Hi, this is Beat, and uh, welcome to the fifth video in the series of 30 plus that I'm making to promote the record Silhouette, that these songs performed by her friends, which I co-produced with Alfonso Rodenas in tribute to my late wife, Daphne and Sykes. Today's video focuses on uh, Rick Shea's song, uh, Rick Shea's version of Daphne's song, Never Make Me Cry. Today I'm standing outside the record plant in Hollywood, a very famous recording studio, famous for where some of my favourite records were made, including Frank Zappa's One Size Fits All, partly recorded here, and Tom Waits' Night Hawks at the Diner, recorded here, along with many, many more, Kanye West and Lady Gaga in recent years. Uh, Daphne actually recorded here the very first EP. She was, as I mentioned in the Edward Romero video, she used to play at the Crooked Bar on the Sunset Strip, and um, one of her earliest fans there was a guy called Jay Gowen, who was a big fan of all the female singer-songwriters of the, uh, let's say, of, the of that time, early 2000s. And he was working here as an assistant engineer or uh, apprentice or assistant, uh, assistant to the recording engineers. And he had been given permission to record anyone he wanted if there was any studio downtime. So, Daphne got a call one day and said probably something like, the studio's free tomorrow afternoon, bring your guitar and come on down. So she did. Uh, uh, left the lab. Um, um, kind of uh, secretly left the lab and, and took a guitar to uh, this place. I've never been here before, so it's the first time for me to uh, find these places. Um, Daphne recorded then what turned out to be the Dreamland EP. I have a copy of the uh, sleeve here, Death in the Dreamland. Artwork by Julie Perkins. Hi Julie. Put live by Jay Dillon at the Record Plant Hollywood, California, January 2001. And it features Daphne's songs, Orphan Grace, Unraveling, Same Thing, and Dreamland. These are four of the songs that Daphne was playing around the time when I first saw her play. This is like uh, the only recording that Daphne had up until about 2004 when she released her Red album. So this kind of became the um, kind of promotional demo that she would hand out at shows. I think it just came from like three. Um, I remember I would go to Kinko's and make the, make the sleeves on the morning of the show and, and we would burn as many CDs as we could in the chemistry in the office of our chemistry group. Sorry, Fraser. <laughs> and um, yeah, that was Daphne's, uh, those like the staples of Daphne set those songs. Standing in the middle of it all, restless, you got no place to run to. Beware, my heart is quite lazy. But it's gonna be the same thing No matter what I do Lay me gently down to sleep Lay me gently down to sleep Another staple of that in set was a song called Never Make Me Cry um, which is the song that Rick Shea does on this album. And that was a song that, it was the very first song that Daphne wrote on guitar, which kind of blows me away because it's pretty sophisticated in its arrangement and in her playing, finger picking. Um, her version of the song originally appeared on her Red album in 2004. And I'll talk more about that record in a later video. Rick Shea is um, one of the LA's finest guitarists. He's an amazing songwriter and a great performer. And his records, each one of them just sounds amazing and great production value. He's a fantastic guy, great sense of humor, um, honorable stand up kind of guy. And um, I'm very happy he chose this song 
for the record. Um, Daphne re-recorded this song for her final EP, which is still going to come out. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully this video will come out before that album comes out, or that EP comes out. But um, I'm pretty slow with, with releasing these videos, so we shall see. But um, Daphne's latest final EP, which is going to be called And If We Say Goodbye, um, this song appears in a re-recording. And Daphne got Rick Shea to play pedal steel on, on the new version of the song. Um, this is a song that Daphne's father really liked. I think particularly because there's a, a line in there about a little girl, and I think he associated that with Daphne being his little girl. Although the song is really about, I'm not your little girl. Don't make, you, know, you don't know who you're dealing with. I'm not your little girl. But um, Daphne's father always liked this song. So Daphne re-recorded it as kind of a tribute to her father. So Rick knows the song from that re-recorded version, and therefore when the tribute show came along, he thought, I'm going to do that song, which is fantastic, because this is Daphne's first uh, song that she wrote on guitar, so, um, Mo and she just didn't play this song, I can't imagine that she played this song after 2002 or 2003 ever, ever live, so um, nobody from you know, the cinema bar scene has ever heard her play this song, so I think it's great that, that a song from the real early days real, real early days is uh, featured on this record. Um, the tribute, the silhouette. Album. Unfortunately, because this song is so old, we don't have a lot of video footage or anything of that playing it. Also, Rick recorded this one at his own home studio um, in his own time. So I was not at the, at the uh, recording sessions. But his version of the song features, well, Rick Shea on the vocals and electric guitar, Stephen Pat on accordion and bass, and Sean Norse on drums. I believe Sean Norse recorded his drums at his studio, and Stephen and Rick recorded at Rick's studio, and I think it sounds fantastic. And uh, I'm uh, very happy how it sounded. A lot of these songs that I wasn't there at the studio to hear, they, they kind of surprised me the most, because I had no idea how they're going to turn out, and then always I was amazed how how great uh, they sounded. Uh, yeah, so this is one that recorded by Rick, engineered by Rick, and performed by Rick. So this one is not one of the Alfonso recorded songs, but I think it sounds great, and I'm so delighted that it's on the album. I'm just going to focus in a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can get the uh, record plant. You can see the record plant sign in the background there in the, in the setting sun. I hope you enjoy... Uh, listening to Rick's performance of Daphne's song Never Make Me Cry, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Okay, Rick, um, do you remember the first time you met Daphne? Um, I don't remember it exactly, but I'm sure it was probably here at the cinema bar. And I think I have probably seen her uh, performing a few times, and the way I kind of remember it is it's a little foggy because it's been a long time, but I, I think she was just uh, sort of in a sort of self-confident but shy way, came right up to me and just introduced herself and started talking to me is the way I remember it. Mm -hmm. Well, when I first started to play guitar, I, was, I really wanted to play uh, blues, but it never worked out that way. And um, this is the very first song that I wrote when I started playing, and it's called uh, You'll Never Make Me Cry. So... <laughs> I thought she was a wonderful singer. She had beautiful, original sounding songs. And um, my favorite thing about her is she just sounded like herself. She didn't sound like, I mean, I could hear a few influences, you know, old 
songwriters or jazz influence stuff, but it, it just sounded like her. It didn't sound like anyone else. It might have been your smile, that little look in your eyes that made me want to believe, baby, that your love was true. Uh, I, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It's a song called Never Make Me Cry. And uh, it, uh, it had a little special meaning for me uh, because it's a song that Daphne had asked me to play. Uh, that she did a recording of for an album that I think is going to be released. At, uh, I think you're still working on it, right, Pete? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And she had sent it to me to play steel guitar on. So it was kind of special to me in that way. I say, darling, you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know who I am. You never make me cry. So when of this happened and you were talking about doing the album and uh, I thought well that's a song that I should do then I'll do that song because I, I don't think it had been released or I don't think she had played it much and I also if I remember correctly she said she told me at the time that she was talking to me about recording it that it was her dad's favorite song that she had written do I have that correct? Right. none of it yeah yeah that's what I remember so yeah. You made me love you I never knew I could fall but I fell so deep, can't you see? Baby, just like a little girl It might have been your smile That sweet look on your face That made me want to believe Baby, that your love was true I said, darling, you don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know who I am. Maybe you'll never make me. Darling, you 
don't know who you're dealing with You don't know who I am Maybe you'll never make me cry Darling, you don't know who you're dealing with You don't know who I am Baby, you'll never make me cry Not a particular moment, but what kind of comes to mind is a, a very uh, kind of wild, impish, lovely, charming, amazing spirit. Uh, she was just, uh, like I said, musically she was like no one else, but personally she was like no one else. She was just a, an amazing and charming and just full of energy person, and positive energy. She could li literally light up a room. It's an old expression, but you can, that's very, very true about her. Okay, thank you, Rick. Oh, thanks. Oh, my God.
And let's hear it for these guys, John, Jeff, and Mark. Thank you, guys.